Are you curious about the different formulas used to calculate the measurements of various shapes? Let's dive in first. Let's talk about squares. The area of a square is determined by multiplying the length of one of its sides by itself. So the formula for the uh, area of a square is a side two. The area represents the eye space enclosed by the square. Next up is the perimeter of a square. The perimeter is the total length of the boundary of the square. To find it, you simply multiply the length of one side by four. So the formula for the perimeter of a square is PR four ohm side. Moving on to rectangles, the area of a rectangle is found by multiplying its length and width together. The formula for the area of a rectangle is A, length and width, just like with squares. The area represents the space enclosed by the rectangle. Similarly, the perimeter of a rectangle is determined by adding the lengths of all its sides together. To simplify this calculation, we use the formula P2, length plus width. The perimeter measures the total length of the uh, boundary of the rectangle. Now let's explore triangles. The area of a triangle is calculated by multiplying the base by the height and dividing the result by two. The formula for the area of a triangle is A, call base a height, two. The area represents the space enclosed by the triangle. To find the perimeter of a triangle, you add the lengths of all its sides together. There isn't a specific formula, but it can be expressed as PR side one plus side two. Plus side three, the perimeter, measures the total length of the boundary of the triangle. Moving on to circles, the area of a circle is determined by multiplying the value of pi, approximately 3, 14159 by the radius of the circle squared. So, the formula for the area of a circle is a raw p radius 2. The area represents the space enclosed by the circle. The circumference of a circle is the total length of its boundary. It is calculated by multiplying the value of pi by the diameter of the circle. However, since the diameter is twice the length of the radius, we can use the formula C on Nasher 2, P, radius 2. Simplify the calculation. Let's explore some three-dimensional shapes now. The volume of a cube is found by raising the length of one of its sides to the power of three. So, the formula for the volume of a cube is V prior side three. The volume represents the space occupied by the cube. Similarly, the surface area of a cube is calculated by multiplying the length of one of its sides squared by six. The formula for the surface area of a cube is Sagre Lake Mensi Dundur. The surface area represents the total area of all the faces of the cube. Moving on to rectangular prisms. The volume is found by multiplying the length, width, and height together. The formula for the volume of a rectangular prism is V or length, width, height. The volume represents the space occupied by the rectangular prism. Similarly, the surface area of a rectangular prism is determined by adding the areas of all its faces together. The formula for the surface area of a rectangular prism is SA2. Length, width, plus length. Height plus width, height. 
the surface area represents the total area of all the faces of the rectangular prism. Now let's explore cylinders. The volume of a cylinder is found by multiplying the value of pi by the radius of the circular base squared and the height of the cylinder. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is V er the radius 2d height. The volume represents the space occupied by the cylinder. The surface area of a cylinder is calculated by adding the area of the curved surface and the area of the two circular bases together. The formula for the surface area of a cylinder is sasa 2p radius, the radius plus height. The surface area represents the total area of the curved surface and the two circular bases of the cylinder. Lastly, let's talk about spheres. The volume of a sphere is found by multiplying the value of pi by four-thirds and then multiplying the result by the radius cubed. So the formula for the volume of a sphere is V dear 4, 3, B radius 3. The volume represents the space occupied by the sphere. Similarly, the surface area of a sphere is calculated by multiplying the value of pi by 4 and then multiplying the result by the radius squared. The formula for the surface area of a sphere is say in car and pier radius of condor. The surface area represents the total area of the surface of the sphere. And there you have it. The different formulas used to calculate the measurements of squares, rectangles, triangles, circles, cubes, rectangular prisms, cylinders, and spheres. I hope this information helps you better understand the concepts and maybe even sparks your interest in exploring the fascinating world of geometry.